Hey everyone, JP here. Uh, welcome back to the simulation channel. We're talking about simulation 102, a bank job. After I did the first video, I got busy with a number of things when I decided to start again. Arena gave me some kind of error. No clue, I tried several times, then I even uninstall and install it again. Nothing ever fixed that. Until I decided why not try the my final shot out of option do the 32 bit it worked hey i hope you got better luck so, back to the bank job what is a bank job bank simulation is more like the first model people usually get involved it was very popular in the 80s 90s then internet come um, then banking wasn't that big a deal anymore so usually what's involved, you're going to have the bank teller operations, you're going to you know some kind of arrival, maybe peak hour, and scenario one will just be simple, okay, the arrival could be random, we can start with constant and play with distributions, then the question is always about how many headers, how many operators you need to keep in the bank, it's similar to the calling center or on-call operation. Then we can look at scenario number two. Again, the customer arrival. How many tellers you need? Then there is a ATM. Okay, just like any bank, you're trying to get some money, get some stuff down. And what is the customer decision? Okay, so you go there, you look at the bank, there's a line, should I just do ATM or ATM is a line, should I just go inside? That's the scenario we're going to look at today. So I got Arena open, let's build something. Uh, start with, can I have a new model? Two, so I'm going to put something there. Uh, bank job. Number one, uh, just something that we will be able to see. Yeah, it's big enough. All right, so start with everything, start with create. Just to simplify things, let's open that. I want to make it very simple, constant, say every 10 minutes, units 32 minutes, one arrival. An entity. Then we're gonna have a uh, dispose. I don't want it. Let's do the process first. That'll be, you know, someone arrive, goes to the bank. And there's gonna be some process. Here is the delay, but what we're looking for is the cease delay release. Then it requires some resource. Right now, just say resource one. And remember, you can try to add more, but that doesn't mean they share the, you know, resource. That means if you have two, what happens is go to the resource one. After that, the entity or the customer go to resource two. Then it finished. So that's not what we do here. I know a lot of time the way it's set up doesn't make sense. I don't know why they did it, but I'm trying to show you how to avoid it. So again, let's do constant minute. I want to do 10 minutes. Okay, then after that, let's get rid of it. this pose. Yes. We connect everything. Let's get it closer. Look. And now let's save it. This I'm gonna have job number one. All right, so what do we have here? We have entity one coming and resource one. All right, very simple. And go to the run. Let's see the setup that their replication parameters 
I want to do warm up maybe one hour and the bank run for let's say nine hours today. Just one replication. There it's all constant, there's no point doing multiple. So let's run that, see if it do anything. And I know it's again I test, but let's check this. Check model, see if it give me anything. It's good. Previously when I got error, every time I check it crashed and restart. Wasn't fun. So let's try that. Uh what it says here is when I install to the 32 bit, it tried to do some kind of database thing. And I don't really care, so some error. I don't need it. But no error warning find there. We are good to go. And let's hit go. Yeah. More error. I don't want to replace that. So right now it's sending this report after nine hours. Got 48. I don't want to see the result. I want to see is this output file pretty clear entity. Okay, I got 47, one didn't finish, got stuck in process. Number mm. schedule, utilization. Pretty busy, as expected. Now, this would be boring, isn't it? So, say if we have Do the let's just do this exponential arrival. We have ten, let's say five. Right? What would happen? You're gonna see the queue start to build up. Yeah, you can make this longer and if we come here data something make it to some difference instead of this. Reports and what else do they have? I know you can probably download something. Person, save it. Hit the run again. All good. Yeah, person. It's 2022. This is the person. So now, end of nine hours. What happened? We finished 48. We got 81 arrival. Some still stuck here. A finished. Stop. Now let's look at the output. So 81 arrived, 48 finished. And here we start to get into something interesting. What's the queue, right? The waiting time in queue, waiting two hours to get service. Not cool. Average queue, uh, 22. I probably will never go to that bank again. So let's try better. Now, what I mentioned earlier, we can add another resource. It's not gonna help because the logic, it doesn't work that way. What we should do is go to here, the resource and say, instead of one capacity, how about, how about two? Okay, hopefully it gets better this time. Let's save it. Not bad. Most of them finished. Low why you got 82 out there. I need to check again. See the output. So number in queue. Okay, that's better. Due time, uh, waiting time, average, okay. nine minutes or so close to 10 not happy but i'll deal with it so here we start looking into this seems arrival and the process seems good but where is the waiting coming from right because the arrival and there's a queue the randomness is not good now let's try again if we do three can we minimize the wait time? 
there, 81, 80. So, you want in 80 here. Then the number in queue is super short, wait time, almost nothing. In this case, it's up to you or the management to say you want to minimize the cost, you want the waiting, all that. Not exactly very exciting, but that's the, you know, usually the first model people will touch. Oh, let's do bank job number two. We're going to keep this here and we're going to copy paste something here. Everything become 222. Two, two. Uh, I want entity two. Can I make entity two? Let's go to entity here. Now I got two. Cool. Uh, not cool. I don't want report. Let's do something else. Red. Oh, report. And then here, uh, I want a different resource, right? So edit. Uh, what they do here, you can change the name on the fly, meaning you do something here and it gives you new resource, basically. Still constant time. And what else I need to change? That seems okay. Process one, two. You can also add a sense here. And this pose, right? In the end, everything has to go. Now, what's going to be different this time is I want to have my ATM. Uh, because it's limited space, not exactly flexible. So, Let's do another process and I'll just call it ATM. And I need a resource. Since did I release that resource? I'll just say resource ATM. DHS1 and minutes. See, I still try to avoid using any random number here. They're looking at the modeling point of view. All right. ATM not going to be that simple, but let's call it, uh, still call it 10 minutes. Right now we start to see the interesting part, but how do they, okay, sometimes they go to there. How do we make them go to the ATM? That is the question. The decisions here, there is a decide. Okay. Starting from the easy part, we have the Decide will be random, okay? 50 50. So, oops, we need to connect something. Connect here. Connect ATM to there. Let's call it the bank too. So, what's in the resource there? So, we have the resource too which is only one, the other is one. So right now, let's see. We do expect to see some kind of queue. Uh, let's hit it. Uh, ripple here. Start to build up, but let's expect it. End of the round. Uh, some queued up, some not. This is the scenario one. Oops, we can go see the report, but hey, not cool. I do need the bank job number two. Okay, that's what I want to say. We have ATM here. What about the report? Entity one, we already know. So, Process one, uh, queue time, we have three resource. So that's cool, almost no waiting, but here comes the interesting. Okay, ATM, some waiting. Bank two, some waiting. Uh, not ideal. Average you're looking at, you now these are in hours, so what? 12, 13 minutes, not, not cool. Ideally, you can have two, right? And ATM is a, you know, you fix it, it's there, it's not gonna change. So that would be hard. 
to change. Uh, come on, to there. But then, right 50 50, you're gonna have a queue in the ATM. What about 66 and the 34? That should make them go away. So, mm. okay, now let's hit it. Oh, that around a little bit. Already done. Nothing is waiting. Cool. So let's see. Waiting. Uh, bank two. A little waiting. And ATM. So this is six minutes, three minutes. Acceptable, but you do have different queues. So that's the reason why it's not ideal. And nothing really that special. You know, how do we make decision on the fly, right? People are, say, smart or they make decisions, although not always good decisions. What if you come here, you see the queue and you're not happy? Okay, you know, if one is longer than the other, I want to see the other side. So let's try this. Instead of by chance, I'm going to say, oh, to wait by condition. And by the way, they do multiple ways as well. The entity number both this is gonna be expression, but what do we do here? Uh, actually, they kind of let you. It's more like a menu type of thing. View expression. Let's say Q. Current number in Q. Which Q? Uh, if ATM or is bank two Q is less than less or equal right assuming it's some you know people friendly customer wants to talk to people so it's less than the atm uh we're okay and then it's a yes then we'll go into the bank so number in queue bank queue is less than we do that and let's see where it goes if it's the same then it will go to here if it's less it will go to atm so let's see what this bank job looks like uh saved let's hit it Right. So when we start running, they actually check the model. There is too few entities or spread. I know you cannot read that. That's so little. So the way to find it, you can do find or edit. Let's say find. It actually bring you to the problem area. I accidentally created an expression. I don't know what it is. So let's just kill it. Save. Let's hit it again. So it's more like bank two is the primary ATM become the backup. Entity, right, we have the Q1, process one, okay. And the bank. Okay, wait time. That's small. We know two and we have the ATM. There's a Q time. They are both fairly good. Nothing like everything under six minutes. But this is fairly fast. And okay, 92. Uh, we have energy 2, 75. Everything checked out. So I know it's very simple, but that's the kind of very first model people usually do. And that concludes our simulation, the bank job today. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.